Did he have his own channel before? I don't know. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Wednesday oh, live is. stream. Short one. Yeah, I don't know. This probably won't be super long. Yeah. I don't know. You can't, I don't know. Maybe. We're going to have one tomorrow, too. I know. I say that, and then they're like three hours long. Hey. Who knows? So, all right. So. Special topic today. Special, special, special topic. So, I don't know. Maybe should we let a couple people join us? I mean, I think you could probably figure out what we're going to talk about here. This guy right here. The man. Yeah. yeah right Thomas. On. All right. I think we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, we'll get a few people in here. You guys, if you guys got any questions, uh, chime in. But we're adding new talent to the BRS TV. Yeah team today. Yeah, right? but what was it? A couple months ago, uh, we invited him over. He flew in. We did a live stream with him, BS with him a little bit, and then decided, you yeah, know, we, we could use somebody else on the team because we need more videos. I'm going to actually backtrack the story. Okay. Actually, one step before that. All right, all right. All right, so actually, we were at one of those Reef of Paloozas. Uh, or was it Macna? Oh, yeah, it was Macna. Macna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came uh, out to Macna. He came to Macna, came to over to our booth and said hi. And I just, like, both ran and I looked at it like, <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome, this guy here? Yeah. Uh, I was with us. Yeah, we shared, uh, you're, we're fans of you, you're fans of us, and he was fans of us. And uh, I don't know. A few months later, I got a phone call from him. He's like, you know what this is about? I would like to join your team. Yeah. And I'm like, no way. Uh, <laughs> uh, so awesome, awesome, awesome. So there's a few things, man. I just want to share with you guys why John Thomas is joining our team, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. what you can expect uh, out of seeing him here. Uh, you know, steel sharpens steel, so tell us some things you'd like to see out of this new edition, and especially if you understand, like, uh, why we're doing it. Yeah. You know? Uh, and we'll watch it evolve, you know? So uh, hopefully everybody gives, like, a big uh, warm welcome to uh, Thomas, man. He is going to be a really, really awesome addition. So the most obvious thing that all of you are seeing is that Thomas is only here in, you know, 2D. picture form. 2D. <laughs> 2D form. Well, so he's... He's doing videos for us remotely uh, mm -hmm. in Canada. So he didn't have to move all the way down here to frosty or not as frosty Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, but that means he has his own nice different set. You guys got something else to look at. Uh, it's going to be pretty fast. You know, remote jobs are like building up uh, these days. There's you two know? of them now. I know, yeah. We just, <laughs> so uh, Robert Farnsworth now uh, lives in Tennessee yeah. and uh, does all the Facebook stuff there. Hopefully we're going to see some like Facebook uh, video content from him as well. So mm -hmm. keep, keep expanding. Uh, but Nova Scotia. Right? Yeah. Uh, like, way, 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 two time zones away from us. You know, uh, <laughs> so uh, hopefully he's, he's up, up. Hopefully he's joined us here. I don't know. I uh, bet you I'd see him in the comments somewhere along the line. We did, yeah. All we right. did set, set this up pretty quick. But why did we bring him in? Uh, so here's the thing, man. Uh, why we brought him in. I just put a couple notes down because I really wanted to like describe this accurately, right? So the first one for me was this guy's fun, right? Oh, yeah. It's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. End yeah. Of story. Yeah, he's got this. Uh, he's got a personality that I mean, in my mind's eye, I feel like uh, that's maybe how I feel on camera. But I watch. I watch, and this is why I was a fan of Thomas to begin with. Well, but well before he came to join us, well before we met him, it's because the way he talks to you, the way he talks to the camera, he might as well be talking to a buddy on the uh, on the about your hobby, and uh, just really, really fun. Funny facial expressions. Has a great tone of voice and. I mean, he's exciting to watch. Okay, so I called him the other day, actually. You know, we were talking about some pumps and stuff. Yeah. And uh, he was in my car, and the way he answered was, hey! And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> that is so genuine, man. He's just so excited. Yeah. And he's like, well, dude, I'm also shooting right now. I'm just into this, you know? And so <laughs> that kind of enthusiasm, and yeah. it's a hobby. You're supposed to be excited about it. It's supposed to be fun. A lot of times you watch some movie or these videos and you're like, oh, this guy looks like he's mourning his existence, man. It's yeah. so sad. It's yeah. like, uh, you're supposed to be nobody wants, fun. To, nobody wants to watch that. Yeah. So this takes it to a whole new level, man, I, I think. Like, like, makes it fun, keeps it exciting. Yeah. And, like, you know, for me, you know, when I buy a new pump or I buy a new uh, filter or mm -hmm. whatever, part of it is because the system's actually going to perform better. Yeah. But part of it... It's like just like you know shopping for gear and getting excited about putting it on. Yeah. You know, and it's just fun. Like it's it's again like I use this old analogy all the time, but it's like getting a chromed out alternator for your car. <laughs> you know, like I, I don't do that, but if I was into cars, I'd certainly appreciate the process. Yeah, but within that, when you're choosing those bits and pieces, and there's multiple manufacturers of the, the same type of product, it's it's valuable to figure out. Uh, what the heck am I buying? Like, mm -hmm. why would I choose one over the other? Why am I even considering this one to begin with? Uh, and that's kind of what Thomas is coming in for, too. Yeah, that was the next piece, man, is uh, this guy's honest. Yeah. Right? So you talk to him, and as a 
don't want to get too deep into it, but one of the previous problems is like the level of honesty is uh, was required out of him. Is like, hey man, I need to tell it the way I see it. Yeah, right? and I'm like that's the way I want to hear it. Right? <laughs> uh, and so, uh, really, man, what I, you could tell when he didn't like something. Mm -hmm. You know, there was like some canister filter one I watched, and I'm like, this guy does doesn't not believe in like it. This. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and I want, as a person that's like watching this stuff and, you know, whatever I'm buying, I want to know, like, uh, you know, did you twist this guy's uh, arm mm. to make him do this? And in that spirit, also what you see in all of those uh, previous content is what he didn't like about something. So it's not all just glowing stuff, yeah. man. It's like, I actually didn't like this thing about this you thing. You can't always have positive, unless, I mean, unless it's really awesome product or what have you. There's not always something awesome to say about it, and that's it. Like, no negatives, this is all awesome. No, there's probably something in there, uh, and he provides that too. Yeah, and in fact, like that was what our conversation was, is uh, one of the things we were talking about, it's like, okay, so, you know, Jason's gonna send you, you know, products and stuff to talk about and whatnot, and we opened it up with, like, if we can't say this line in the beginning mm. of, what does this thing do uniquely well who is it for? Yeah. If you can't answer that question, we throw do, the thing in the trash, do a video. let's go on to the next one, yeah. right? Like, you should not be talking about or featuring anything that, like, you can't say that statement for. It does something uniquely well, including it could be price, could be, uh, you know, like some really oddball thing for mm -hmm. a really oddball solution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, you know, like, it's just for me, I know that chromed out alternators are not for everybody, right? <laughs> or whatever the equivalent of that is. Yeah. Uh, and, but if you're looking for that, this is the right solution, you know? And so uh, I'm pretty excited about, about that. And really what I want to see out of this is going way beyond the bullets and the packaging. Yeah, this is something that, so Thomas is going to cut his teeth on some spotlights. So he's going to mm -hmm. talk specifically about products. He's going to talk about, you know, all of these different. So, I mean, you can go to the website and you can look at the back of the box and you can read bullet, bullet, bullet point. And there's some, and there's some uh, reviews out there that that's exactly what they do. They go through the bullet points, they talk about them, their opinion on them, and then that's it. But uh, we like to go a little further than that. Like, there's something else that somebody's not catching or telling you about. Uh, again, going back to the unique stuff. And the good part about this one is, too, uh, you're not just getting Thomas's opinion on this. Uh, Ryan and I go into each one of these products that we send to him to do a video on, and we give our points of view, uh, so other bullet points. So now you get like three or multiple different points of view on the product. So it's funny because uh, like I was talking to him yesterday mm. and I'm like, yeah, so I'm going to put these notes in here and like what I think it does well, like who it serves well, what it doesn't do good, uh, yeah. some areas of improvement, but I need you to promise me. <laughs> I need you to promise me you're going to do your own content first and then look at that so you don't just regurgitate my words. Yeah. Right? I, I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, but like... The real, the reason that like so, you see so many of these videos and they're just like reading the bullet points off the packaging mm -hmm. is because this is hard. You know? Oh yeah, right? to come up with alternative things other than the packaging. Yeah. yeah, I mean like you have to have you know like actual use with this thing. You can tell like a lot of these videos like they've never opened it or used it. It's just like yeah, maybe you're excited about it because it sounds cool, mm. but like nobody's ever touched this thing, used it, or talked to anybody. Right? Yeah. So where these things get really good is when, you know, you're talking to four different people, all had different experiences with it, and the vendor in the past, and customers through customer service who have yeah. used it. Like, oh, we got 100 data points in this thing. Like, uh, it's pretty exciting. Somebody made a, somebody made, uh, a point uh, in all of those touch points between customer service and all of us. There's somebody in that group of people that has, has seen or has some piece of information that's valuable to everybody else that's not listed on the packaging. It's uh, absolutely. It happens every time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So actually, you know, so I'm just going to say an improvement I could have seen, right? Okay. So as, what video is coming out today? Uh, the CPR. So Thomas's first video that's coming out in just a little bit, uh, the CPR Aquatics uh, Aquafuge 2. Okay, so these are the first round. So Thomas taking some feedback on these things. It's only and, getting and, better. And working on them, yeah. So give your feedback. Like the hardest feedback possible, the, yeah. the biggest punches are the best uh, actual thing for us to progress. I was talking to Jason about it today and they had, one of the other ones they're gonna do is that, uh, what is it, the XP, 
Uh, oh, the XP Aqua, Aqua Duetto or the uh, the Sumpless ATO. Sumpless ATO. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Jason, like, help me understand why. Like, I don't understand the little box and whatever. And I watched the video and I'm like, yeah, this is really good. And he says, dude, the value is because if you don't have a sump, right? Mm. The flow uh, in the tank yep. fluctuates the little float valve all over the place, and it's always turning on. It's always a mess. On, off, yeah, on, off, whatever. yep. He's like, if you put this little overflow box in there, and it's super thin, it protects the float, and then you don't have any of those problems. Mm. And I'm like, sweet. This thing should open up that way. Like, if you have a sump, and, or a sumpless tank, and you're tired of your ATO going crazy on you all the time, and this thing was made for you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, and like, man. Well, yeah, I already know the three <laughs> seconds. Like, I can actually stop wasting my time watching this thing because I have a sump. Or if I don't, and I'm like, yeah, man, the thing's happening to me all the time. Like, yeah. oh, bam, yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's actually what this is all about. So here's the thing, man. I love Thomas. He is so fun, so genuine, so honest. And behind that, just like has this like energy. And I know he's going to give the right information to the right people. So that's why he's the right man for the job and why we're so like the first time we met him and like this yeah. is the guy. I'm so excited. Because <laughs> I'd actually watched his material before that yeah, too. Yeah, lots of it. Okay. So why do we actually want him here? What's the role that he's going to fulfill for us here, which is different? Like he's the right guy for the right job. What's, what's the job? So there's so many video opportunities that we, you know, if you go back into the library, we have... Uh, we have, you know, product reviews, how-to videos. We have, I mean, these series that we kind of started on, uh, but just not enough, I mean, bandwidth to do that group of videos, that series, that series, investigates, all this other stuff. Uh, we want to do them all, but there's, in the, in the 40 hour work week, which is actually like 50, 60, <laughs> 70 to some degree, uh, there's just not enough time for both of us to do it. And we have two editors that are due full time. We got testers, you know, tank maintainers that are full time. Just not enough bandwidth. So uh, with that, that means that we can only provide, you know, realistically provide Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday content. Four days out of the seven a week, uh, you and I can probably cover. But what about those other three days to like Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday? Enter Thomas. So here's the thing uh, for me, yeah. right? Is uh, I think that obviously, Luke, we obviously like video around here. Oh, yeah. But I think video is one of the easiest ways to convey what a product does or doesn't do. Yeah. That goes beyond just like some text bullet points on the product mm -hmm. page, right? Mm -hmm. It When you see it in action, you see all the stuff and how it's used and somebody giving you information on it, it's so much easier to understand, ah, mm. this will solve my problem, right? Yeah, somebody like, who's actually put their hands on it instead of open the box and start talking about it, like, I'm gonna use this for a little bit, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play around with it. And from a mindset of a hobbyist that you know, has my mind in, in his mind. Yeah, there's actually a lot of products that go on the website and then end up not selling and they go away. And I'm so disappointed because they're like, if only the world knew what it, how this yeah. thing works mm -hmm. and like what it, the, the what the problem is that it actually solves. And they're like, oh, I'd want that. Yeah, exactly. Right? But we just don't have the bandwidth for all that. So we're producing the investigates. We're producing like all these new series and stuff. And there just isn't the bandwidth to go through all of it. And we kind of ebb and flow in and out of it. But like, you know, something new comes out. Like in this specific case, oh, like yeah. the Radeon Gen 5 came out. Normally we would have been like, you know, two, three months behind yeah, release. We're, we're going so fast. Yeah. Now we're trying to get some bandwidth. They're like, hey man, before you go spend two grand on that thing, here's what it does. Yeah. You know, we tested it actually and used it and we got some feedback on it and I, I want to share that with you, right? Yeah. Okay. So in this case now, we're going deep catalog, right? <laughs> and so like All that Sumpless ATO, that would have never made the cut in terms for of us. Uh, yeah, never. Yeah. No, we would have never seen it from us. Not even, a, not a live demonstration, not a spotlight from us. Maybe uh, best of the year, you know, maybe. in a few seconds. Yeah, and, and now that we are, actually now that we are highlighting some of these deeper catalog stuff that you, we don't really get featured on our channel, it might end up bringing it up to the forefront of, it wasn't even on our minds, mm -hmm. but now it can be on our minds for the best of 2020. That happens all the time, yeah. by the way. So like somebody will come, like the Sumpless ATO is a good thing. I didn't really understand the value either. Mm. And now I know the right tool for the right job, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we're just gonna keep seeing the stuff and making better decisions for ourselves. Hopefully, like, I mean, this is a fictitious story, but all of the thousands of thousands, every one of them. If you want to watch something on here, man, there is more than just bullet points. Mm, yeah. And along the timeline, maybe that happens, right? But all the major stuff, man, like 
all over the place should have more material. I think we owe it to you guys. Just keep investing in information, yep. you know, because information helps people make you know better decisions, make you happier with uh, whatever it is you pick, and it just. I, after you use it, like a lot of this information helps you be more successful with the actual solution that you pick. It's like when I'm shopping on Amazon or if I'm shopping around, you know, online and stuff. If I'm picking, if I pick out a particular product, I almost always, like 90% of the time, will if there's a video on that product page, mm -hmm. I want to see somebody use it. I'll click it. I don't know, if, if it's their dramatic demonstration of it, or actually just some guy talking about. Uh, how to use it, or or here's how they used it, or a little review. I'm gonna watch it because it does help. It does help me make that decision. And and like I don't know, this is gonna sound self-serving when I say it out loud, but it's not. It's just true. <laughs> what happens is you end up going to some of those places, mm -hmm. and then like you're like oh that guy actually helped me find the right thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, where do I go next time? I want to see right. if they have a video on it. Again. Yeah. yeah, so I was actually at a seminar once, uh, and they were talking about this with like I can't remember the auto parts store it was like Pep Boys or whatever, and they had a video on like how to change your brake pads on this car. Mm -hmm. So I was searching for brake pads, but what I actually got was how do I actually install these? And here's like a you know 10 minute video guide on how to do this. Hmm. Well, when my starter goes out, you know where I'm going? I'm going to that website, I'm yeah. looking at the starter video, and then probably buying it from them too. So, like, you could hear that as, like, oh, you should come shop with Bulk Resupply. That's not my case. It's actually the inverse. We owe it to you guys to provide a service like that uh, because we sell this stuff. And so I look at now, like, uh, and I, mean, I wish I could remember the name of the mm. company was, but it was, let's just pretend it was Pet Boys. <laughs> uh, I feel like, man, they did a service. Like, uh, how do I not want to use that service again, especially if it worked out last yeah, time? Yeah, that's true. You know, I don't. Yeah. So that's the hope here is that uh, Tom Lisman fills the catalog up with information you can use to make the right decisions. I'm super excited about it. We're going to keep sharpening uh, the tools here. And so, like, one of the things is I want to hear what it is you guys would like to see more information on. Yeah, for sure. Right? Like, go to the website, or if you're browsing, if you're browsing stuff on our website, and you see something that you just wish had more information on because you're considering it, that's what we want to know. Yeah. yeah, you're right now like, I was thinking about buying, but I'm not sure that right tool is the right, or the, this is the right tool for the right job. Can you guys do a video on it? Throw it down in the comments, man, and uh, like it will hit the list. So I just want to share a couple of them. This was just what Jason sent him. Like, we just want to get some stuff out the door, right? Uh, and like, so the Tunes RO water controller. So, Interesting. Yeah, and this is an oddball thing that most people don't know about, mm -hmm. but helps a lot of people with TDS creep. You know, you can save on your DI resin. Uh, the Skims SM176 DC skimmer. So, like, we've been talking about DC skimmers a whole lot, and, uh, like, this is one of the cheaper ones, you know, <laughs> in that size, you know. Uh, the Octo WC100 waste collector. Oh, this is awesome. Like, this is, like, deep catalog stuff. Like, why yeah. would you want it? What does it do? Mm -hmm. You know, understand it. Especially if you're thinking about beforehand, like, for sure, what does it do? What, is, what does it not do? Uh, we got, uh, well, they sent him a Hydra 64. That actually, like, uh, is uh, relevant. Yeah. Uh, and uh, probably something... We could have, should have done before, but yeah, didn't, right? True. Uh, Drew's doser, 0 0.2. Interesting. You know, this one's good too, man. The Aqua Ultraviolet UV Sterilizer, right? Mm. So I actually have a video coming out on this one too myself, but like, you know, what's the difference between the Pentair one and the Aqua Ultraviolet one? Uh, how am I supposed to know? Yeah. I know they're $50 difference, but like, w like in a video in format, especially in the short little, you know, three, five, six minutes, you can really understand like why this is the right tool. We got the uh, Castle A360 Refugium light. I'm actually really excited about this one because it solved all my problems that I had with the larger 380, mm -hmm. but we haven't had time to get it out we there. We haven't yet. looked at it yet. Yeah. So uh, the Brightwell Cato Grow. This one was actually surprising. I went and looked at uh, like the sales in this thing. Oh, it yeah. totally shocked me. I, like, I had no idea how much of this people were buying. Oh yeah, I wonder if it, well, see, and then wonder, that's uh, potential for some investigates topics type, type stuff. Yeah, for sure, because you know, if you got Kato, you're growing massive amounts of Kato in your tank to take up all the nutrients. And until somebody tells you, you don't realize it, yeah, it's probably sucking up all of the iron mm -hmm. and the like molybdenum and the yeah. other 18 things. And you can definitely test for that with ICP, see so you're deficient in it. But what's the solution? 
here it is. Yeah. Right? So Triton's one of them. Triton kind of tries to balance that for their whole system. Individual bottles. Yeah, yeah, and it's not cheap, and you have to use a four-part and whatnot, and it's really an awesome solution for a four-part if you want a uh, refugium. Mm -hmm. What if I just like the, the two-part or like my calcium reactor or my Kelkwasser? But I want to replace this thing, man. The Cato Grow fits the bill, but nobody would know, <laughs> right? No, no. Uh, the Avast Vibe Zeolite Reactor, right? Oh, yeah, this one's gonna be interesting. So, no 90, more pumping. Ninety percent of you out there are saying, "I don't care about you know zeolite reactors because I don't run zeo of it." But what about the other ten? Yeah, the people right? that actually do. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know, I actually run that, I, and I've been thinking about not pumping my zeolite rocks by yeah. hand. Here's the solution. Does it work? You know, how does it work? Does it make noise? You know, whatever. Yep. Answer all of those questions, right? Super, super valuable. That's awesome. All right. So that's about it. I mean, I just wanted to, we're going to release one of his videos a little bit later today. Yep. I'm not sure what time. What, I don't pick know. a time right now. We could do 12.30 because we, it's not even 12 yet. All right. You know what? I'm going to wait like to the this, evening. Uh, Oh, you said 12.30, why not? Okay. 12.30, we're gonna release uh, his first video, so come in and join us and watch what it's all about. And uh, like, let us know where you like to take us, because we love to evolve, we love to hear your feedback and, and just keep oh, yeah. moving forward. And more importantly, let us know the things you'd like to see. I see a couple of questions in here. Uh, Thomas is here too, oh, by the hey, way. Right He's on, been here man. for a while. So yeah. welcome Thomas in the comments. And uh, JR Bull asks if, are you guys going to uh, pump out a tank for him? Yeah. He's getting his tank in his studio. So the studio you'll see in the three videos that he has uh, today, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, don't have a tank in there. No, he got uh, one. A red, he doesn't, but not in there. On yeah. The, yeah, it's on the way, and then that set will change to where he has a tank. Red Sea uh, donated a tank to him. That's so really awesome. So I hooked that up. Like, yeah. Hey, my man Scott over at Red Sea, can you help <laughs> the guy out? Uh, so a tank's on the way. Uh, we'll definitely send him all the gear, whatever he wants. I told him, like, you just let me know what you want. We'll find a way to get it to you. So it will be his own build. It will be what he wants to put on it. Uh, yeah. You know, presumably stuff from here. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Free reign, man. Go do whatever you want. Sweet. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and join us. Uh, and uh, I don't know. They'll probably put a link, like, right here or something to, uh, so you can go and see like uh, all of the spotlights that Thomas do. So super big welcome to Thomas. Thanks for joining on board. And uh, I'll see you guys all pretty soon. There he is.